All right, well, speaking of real cool, speaking of fucking crazy, actually, we haven't talked a whole lot about Invincible since we said we were both feeling it back when it first dropped on Amazon. But Invincible's yeah. season finale actually dropped today as, as far as recording goes. Yeah. Friday. I caught up today's episode and last week's episode because I hadn't seen it yet. And I... Who like I kind of want to yeah I was gonna say I kind of want to get into spoilers a bit so if any of our listeners haven't seen all of Invincible first of all if you don't mind something incredibly violent and oh my god is it incredibly violent I mean it's mm-hmm. animated but it is incredibly violent I would say give it a shot I think it's written really well and I really enjoy the show from start to finish but mm-hmm. yeah maybe hit the timestamp for games we're playing because I think we're gonna go into it for a bit I just yeah. want to say as a whole. I talk a lot of shit about anime, right? And I think one of the things that really bugs me about anime is some of the anime I don't like writes itself into a corner and then just writes a solution on the spot. Like, well, it's true. You've defeated all my jutsu, but you don't know about my secret um, deus ex machina jutsu. And then, you know, and then they win. And you're just like, that shit wasn't set up or earned. Right. And and what's weird is in the universe of Invincible, where you have so many different super powered individuals, and then you're including like the universe, you know, the fact that one of the main characters is a Viltrumite, he's from the a planet way far away, like a Superman analog, basically. Right. They come out of nowhere with stuff, and you don't really know what the power level is. Like when Battle Beast showed up and just fucked everybody, you're like, who is this guy? Right. right. <laughs> and normally that would bug me, but I, I stay engaged with the show, and I really enjoy the show, and I realized that you can write a series like that where stuff does come out of left field as long as the characters and the situations and the way that everybody reacts around that new piece of information or that new event that occurs, how it's written in. And you don't necessarily have to set it up ahead of time as long as everything feels organic once it shows up. I just just thought that was interesting. Because it it would be one thing if... You say Invincible is helping that guy, and he knew about Battle Beast and how strong he was. And he was like, oh, yeah, Battle Beast. I know about this guy. And he's like, what? <laughs> but it was <laughs> right. just, it came so out of left field for everybody, it kind of felt like it fit. You know, like there could be somebody like this strong in the universe. Or at the, the last episode today, when they brought out that old one style Cthulhu, like giant beast that mm. Omni Man had already defeated in Japan once, like, oh, yeah, we augmented him. Right. <laughs> it just. We gave it uh, juice. Yeah, we gave we gave it juice and we gave it drugs. Gave it a Capri Sun, baby. It, 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 it was forever grateful. Now it's gonna kill you. Right. <laughs> but man, oh man, like that whole ending where Omni Man just shows his true colors, and you kind of called it, and so did I in a way. But we both thought, okay, this Viltrumite planet that he talked about, shit ain't actually like that, and it turns out to be right. true. They are like Spartans to the extreme. They don't just toss weak babies. They killed half their planet just to see who was the stronger half. And then right, they which took I was that like, philosophy. what the hell? I know, that was crazy. <laughs> and then they took that philosophy and started spreading out to other planets. Like, you will live under our empire because we're so strong. Fuck you. Right. <laughs> just, oh, my God. It was so much more basic but also more terrifying than I ever could have imagined. And Yeah. And the fact, well, the fact that they were doing it less efficiently before yeah. they started sending one person to each planet. It was just like, mm-hmm. imagine a gang of fucking filter mites. Yeah. Just showing up and fucking killing everybody. It's it's crazy. Yeah. Anybody that resisted and just being like dumb, unfathomably strong. Because mm-hmm. that's the thing. Omni-Man is very strong. And the only thing that really saved Mark's life was just him actually having had grown feelings for his family. Yeah, that little it, bit of humanity that he obtained. Yeah. And he somehow magically busted out the same amount of teeth that Mark was missing from the memory he remembered about him at the ball game. I was like, oh, that's Bruh. cute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got his teeth back, by the way. Do Viltrumites grow back their teeth or are all those like they just have to. pearl installs or whatever? I like, guess they, they have to. Did they just give him fake teeth? <laughs> I'm just give trying to figure it ears. out. Yeah. I don't know, because the same thing with uh, Rex Splode, he got his teeth back that he got knocked out. <laughs> yeah. So I don't, I don't, I don't know. Teeth just grow Maybe back and just invincible. Like, we don't care. Yeah. yeah. I love how his eyes remained bloodshot red like the entire episode because it made it seem more intimidating and just made him seem crazier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like, what the what the hell is wrong with you, man? I noticed Here. that. Yeah. <laughs> Mark thought for sure someone was controlling him. It was like, dude, stop. He's like, no, it's, it's me. me. It's I'm daddy. terrible. <laughs> yeah. And him just continually trying to persuade Mark 
that humans the lives worst are way. worthless. It, oh my god, it was terrible. I was on, on the verge of crying when he said, "Well, the fact that he said that he's going to live for thousands of years." So now I'm like, "Well, how old is Omni Man now?" Because mm-hmm. at first when they're fighting, I'm like, "Okay, Mark." I feel like Mark should be able to like hold his own a little bit, but mm-hmm. no. If he if his dad is two thousand years old and he's fucking seventeen, of course he's not going to be able to. And that's the thing because you like have to assume they get stronger. He's like, "What? Yeah. Seventeen years? I'll just make another, I'll make another one, one, one of you." One. And called like, oh, it and oh, called his wife. Said his wife was like a pet to him. I was like, fuck, dude. Yeah. And she had to hear all that and watch the love of her life beat their son to death. I was like, this is, I can't even imagine how Mark's mom feels. Like, I oh, can't man. even begin to imagine. The and whole Jay, thing was like a psychological <laughs> mind fuck, dude. Yeah, we got to give it up for J.K. Simmons, man. Yeah. No, he was it was great. Delivering. Him mm-hmm. and Stephen Yoon. Mm-hmm. And everyone on that show, pretty much. Yeah, I love that show. I love that show. Good performance. He was like, think, Mark, in 500 years, everyone you love is going to be dead. Then what are you going to have? And he said, I'd still have you, Dad. I'd still have you, Daddy. (laughs) Oh, my God. He said that even after he got the fuck beat out of him. (laughs) Yeah, he loves us. And that's where Omni-Man fucked up. And I don't get why he thought Mark would just be on board. Because he didn't raise him to be a sociopath. He raised him to be a good kid. And he raised him among humans. If as soon as he got that baby, if he was just like psh, smacked his wife and then left and then he right. raised the baby to be like this kind of hateful, viltramite, loyal little uh, piece of shit, little gremlin. Yeah. Then it would it would make more sense for him to be like incredulous. Like, why won't you help me kill all your friends and take over right. the planet? Why don't fucker? you understand? I explained yeah, everything. to I you. explained <laughs> it should be self-evident. What? That you're a fucking asshole, dude. Right. Imagine he if you said, were raised on Viltr- be, Oh, go ahead. He said, you're not gonna... <laughs> you're gonna betray your responsibility to Viltrum? He said, I don't give a shit about Viltrum. <laughs> like, Fuck Viltrum, Mike. Fuck you. <laughs> the way he delivered that line was great. Oh, oh it was good. <laughs> yeah, it was so indignant and just like, F you, dad. But I mean, what else could he do? You know, right. I loved it. I loved it. And yeah. man, when he was trying to get Mark to snap, just forcing his head through that entire subway train of people he was murdering oh, in front of Mark's God. eyes... That was so crazy. So crazy. I was, like, I was trying to figure out the physics of it all, and then I just gave up. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I was just like, I, I was like, okay, so I guess running into their bodies is tearing them apart. I don't know. Well, it was it was an immovable object getting hit with an yeah. unstoppable force, and the unstoppable force yeah. did stop eventually. And I think just right. the jerk of all that and the flying metal and debris and everything just fucked every. It yeah. was like a, he it, he basically turned that subway car into a shredder because yeah. all the metal bent before them and then everybody inside just hit edges. Yeah, it was it's, fucking crazy. It was crazy. Let's and talk about Immortal coming back to life just to get fucking killed again. <laughs> I know, but it looks like they're going to bring him back, though, because they had him at the I hospital. know, and he's going to get killed again. I know, I know. he is. I think that's going to be, that's like the running gag of the show, is that Immortal keeps coming back to life and keeps getting fucking killed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he is Immortal, <laughs> after yeah. all. He's like, yeah, he's like Vandal Savage. He I, basically is, he's Vandal Savage, only he's a good guy. And, and, he's, and, doesn't, and he fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, Robot's whole dealings with the clones and what he was doing came to light in the last episode. Well, I mm-hmm. didn't know what he was doing at all until in the last episode he said when he had the glitch or whatever. And he goes, that will be resolved soon. And I was like, the clone right. is for his body. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and then all that stuff went down. And it, w- Between him and the Guardians of the Globe and the two clone guys... And the whole entire planet of Mars being taken over by those sentient beings. Like, there's all these chess pieces moving of good and bad guys. But I feel yeah. like eventually they're all going to culminate in a force against the Viltramites. Yeah. I feel like it, somehow. Even the worst of the worst. Battle Beast is going to come back into play. They actually showed him again briefly at the end. I was like, uh-huh. yeah, where's he at? I was right. surprised he didn't just notice... Or get called. I'm, I wonder if he knows about Viltrumites. You know what I mean? I think every. I think everyone but fucking Earth knows about the Viltrumites. It sounds like it because then you have Seth, even Seth Mars Rogen. was like. <laughs> no, no, you're right. No, even Mars knew about him. You're right. You're right. What would they say? I can't remember in the episode. He said, uh, "I'm the king of Mars. Of course, I know about fucking Viltrumites." Yeah. Well, no, <laughs> but then he looked I know at the, who you are. No, but then he looked at the other guy, and the guy was like, "Oh, like, That's I thought true. He, he, did. he was bullshit." He did say that. Yeah, he was bullshitting. But the Federation of Planets or whatever that Seth Rogen's character is from, like when he came back, like, hey, there's a vulture my living on Earth. And then right. <laughs> Mark was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> Have a seat. 
And that was he, cute. <laughs> yeah, that was that was kind of funny, and they had that exchange. But it sounds like there's a lot of people out in the universe that are against the Viltrumite Empire, and Mark and Earth may be the key to possibly defeating them. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy. It's been renewed for seasons two and three, so that's exciting. Yeah, I'm gonna hear for it. I I actually really really enjoyed the show. I mean, some of the episodes did feel like filler, like the college episode, but yeah. obviously it set a few things up too. But for the most part, I mean, shit was just wild from start to finish. So yeah. uh, it really had me invested. And it feels like the Game of Thrones of animated comic book shows because people yeah. can just die. It's just going to happen. You know what I mean? You mm-hmm. can't really get attached to too many people. Even Mark, I was like, Mark might die today. <laughs> like, yeah. I wasn't and sure you know, if he was going to stick you, around. But You're bringing up Game of Thrones. And now that I think about it, they did not show outside of King's Landing. They didn't show a whole lot of civilians, mm-hmm. like just just something I was thinking about. So civilians weren't really in the crossfire that often, except for that last season. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, boy. Yeah, and so far this show feels more planned and well thought out, like the beginning of Game of Thrones, rather than the hot mess that became after like season four or whatever. But um, right, we'll have to wait and see how things go. But it-